How to make a shirt in Roblox is the topic of today's video. If you're new to the Churchill Tucker channel, make sure you go down below right now and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to hit 100,000 subscribers at some point, so that would mean the absolute world to me. And then go down below and hit the like button. It just gets fear to more people, so make sure you go and do that. But in today's video, I'm covering exactly how to make a shirt in Roblox, how to design it, the software to do it. And all of the necessary steps you will need to take to go and go and design a shirt and it's a super easy video and i go over everything and explain everything in great depth um, and that's why that video is this video is a bit longer than usual but yeah i hope you do find it useful and let's jump straight into this now let's jump straight into the tutorial so as you can see i'm on roblox and let's go and show you how to make a shirt in roblox so the first thing you need to do is come up make sure you're all fully logged in like you usually would and come up to create and let's jump into this now as you can see sometimes the first time you actually do end up coming into create there'll be a big option i'll probably try and put a screenshot on right now all you need to do is show me my games and then you'll get this list here so i'll show that on the screen right now if you have the issue but otherwise you'll be listed here now as you can see you've got my creations uh library developer exchange and premium payouts so what we want to do is come back to my creations and go down this list until you go to shirts or t-shirts as you can see you've got two here so i'll be showing you how to make a shirt um, but this tutorial is very very similar just a quick note before we get any further you will need premium to be able to go and use your shirt so you can create them but you won't be able to upload them or sell them on the roblox avatar shop just to put it out there but you can still create them which is what this tutorial is for so yeah make sure you get premium if you want to use them in roblox or sell them so the first thing we need to do is come up to here and click create a shirt and as you can see did you use the template we need to go and download the template so all we do is click download it here and it's going to take us here now you're probably wondering oh how can i do anything with this all you want to do is if you're on a phone you either can hold on to it to click save if you're on a computer you want to right click on it and then go and click click save image as now i have to blur this um but let me find where i'll save it I'm just going to make a new folder and I'm simply going to save it in here and just gonna click save and now it's gone and downloaded it. Now we've done this, we've got the template and we're ready to get starting into actually designing our shirt. Now a lot of YouTubers often go and show a way to download a software but I just find it easier to use online software so personally I'm going to Google and be showing you a software. Now the software I recommend using is actually called Pixlr so you type it in P-I-X-L-R just like so, Pixlr and you don't need an account or anything like that, it's really good so I'm going to click here. And it's going to load now as you can see you've got this advanced or a more basic version i do recommend using the advanced i'll be showing the full tutorial so it's pretty easy to follow and yeah let's go jump into so click on advanced pixel so once you're here all you want to do is come to open image and it's going to load up all your images i may have to blur some stuff because i've got um school documents and stuff on here then i'm going to go and open up the template where we saved it so i'm going to double click there and as you can see it's now loaded in now we can go and get started on actually designing our shirt now as you can see this is the front and this is the back so this is the um it folds up like a box you know what i mean so yeah you've got the right arm here and the left arm and then the main shirt here so you can literally do anything with this that you like so i'm going to show you some basic sort of creations now before you start drawing anything i recommend coming down to here to layers and click the plus um and as you can see you get this box um and you can choose just do empty that's actually right it may sound random so once you've got that empty layer there then what you want to do is click on this um dotted square click there and then you want to go and highlight what you want to color in so personally i'm going to um, color in all of this so i'm going to draw a big box or where i want it to be colored and put it just around there now as you can see it's now moving and i make sure you've got that top layer selected and then i'm just going to go and fill it so i'm going to go and find the fill tool which i believe is this and then you can choose the color you want so i'm going to go for like i think i'm going to go for a nice blue uh, that looks pretty good I click okay and then just click on it boom we've now got a nice blue torso so this is the the side of it the whole front of it sorry and the back um, so if you want to have difference um, on the front and back you can so that is the first bit done so now i'm just going to go and leave that and then once you've done the color you then you can just do Control d and it'll unhighlight it and you can actually adjust the sizing and move it around um, but obviously i want it where i left it so i'm gonna leave it there but you can enlarge it to make sure you've got all the gaps covered up and then for the next one i'm simply going to go and create another layer uh, another empty layer and i'm going to go and draw over the up and down uh, so I'll just do that there and then I'm going to go and fill that in now you can do different colors personally I'm going to do it the same um, as that's what I think will look best 
So that's selected. I'm now going to go and do, get the fill bucket again. You can manually paint it in as well. You can draw it in like this and just manually color it in. But I personally just use the full, um, fill tool. It's the most effective way and uh, I really just find it easier. So I've done that um, and there's a bit of a gap there. I'm just going to quickly fix, I think anyway. So if I grab the paint tool, I can just quickly go over that and then I can click control D. Perfect. So that is what the, the torso is looking like. It's a blue color. Now I have to add other cool effects like shading and a few other things you can do. But now we're on the right and left arm. Now I'm going to go and add another bit different effect to this just because I think if it's all blue, it may look a bit basic. So anyway, I'm going to go and add another layer. Every time I do something, I just recommend adding a layer because then if you do something wrong, you can just delete the layer. Like for example, if I want to delete what I did just a minute ago, I can just click here and then go and click on the here. And you can right click on it and click delete if you wanted to and then it would just remove what i'd done there just like so if i click delete it then deletes it but you can come and undo it by clicking edit and undo and it puts it back so that's just an example anyway i'm going to go and crack on with this right arm so i'm going to go and grab the tool again actually i'm going to choose a color first so i want something which is fairly similar to the blue um but something just a bit different to to make it stand out so i may just do a light blue actually um and we'll see how that looks just a bit of a lighter blue so let's draw um, the box which I want to color in. So I'm going to draw that in just there. And that looks perfect. And then I'm going to go and grab the fill tool. Fill that in there. And I'm going to do another um, box. So I'm going to add another layer. Uh, empty layer. And then I'm going to go and fill this in here. So it doesn't really matter if it does go over the edge. I just like it being fairly neat. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put that in there. Boom. And then I'm going to go and add another layer and finish off the left arm. And we're nearly there. And then after this, I'll be showing you how to add shadings and loads of other cool effects. Like so once before to undo um, the moving line, just do control then D, drawing this over. So there we go. And we can fill that in with the bucket tool again. Boom. And then I'm going to create another layer, empty layer and go and fill it in. So yeah, it's pretty easy. As you can see, you, once you understand like the basics of the software, it doesn't take long at all, but it can take um, a while to get used to it. So anyway, we've done that. I can fill that in quickly and put perfect, we're done. So now we've got this, as you can see, it looks pretty sort of bland. And to make it stand out, I recommend sort of adding more shading effects. Um, so yeah, let's go and do that now. So the first thing you want to do is come up to Google again. And all you want to do is search in Roblox shade shading template just like so 585 by 559 as that is what the dimension of the shirt is so i'm going to click there perfect as you can see we come to images there are so many options make sure there are a few things you need to look out for is that it's png as you can see this is png um, otherwise it won't work so i'm going to go and look for something quite nice so actually to be fair i do quite like this one so i'm going to come on click on this and then i'm going actually i don't know if that is matches up right no as you can see that actually misses out the, the bottom bit. So that's sort of thing you've got to watch out for. I think some of these don't have it. Actually, this one does perfect. Um, and if it doesn't have the white as well, that can be an issue, but we can also fix that. So this one isn't transparent, but there's still a way to fix it. And I'll be showing you that. So I'm going to come and click here, click right, right click on it, click save image as I'm going to click save and it's now downloaded. And then I'm going to come back to Pixlr. And then what you want to do is come to the plus and then go and click image. Now we can go and double click on it. As you can see, we've now done it perfectly. So this looks really cool actually, but one thing which I don't like is that it's still got those white bit around it. So to remove that, all you want to do is come to this magic tool, one select, and you want to come and click on it. And as you can see, it's now highlighted it all. So once it looks something like this and it's selected it correctly, then what we want to do is come to the rubber, which is the eraser, which is here. Click on it and then you can just go and click on it and scribble it out. So I'm going to make this a bit bigger just to make it a bit faster. And then I'm going to make the softness um, zero. So then I'm just going to create this to max. Actually, we can quickly just clear it all just like so. As you can see, perfect. Now we can come off it and we can start sort of editing it now. This may be a bit extreme, the shading on your personal bit of clothing. So to change it, what you want to do is click on it, right click on it. And as you can see, you can actually decrease the transparency. So the, the more you lower it, the it's on zero, it's nothing. And as you increase it, it becomes less transparent. So I'm, I'm going to put this down here to not make it too obvious, but a bit more low key and not as bright. And then that's sort of the main thing. If you want to go and add more effects like an emoji, I'll show you that as well. So come back to Google and say if there's an image you wanted, I'm just going to get, grab a random emoji. Uh, I'm going to go for this one here. Right click on it. Save image as. Save. Then come back here and click another plus image and click 
plus image and click on the emoji. Then I've got it here. I'm just going to go back to drag and control D. I've had some stuff selected. And then I'm going to grab this and just rotate it around so it fits perfectly. And I'm going to grab that, put it in here. Make sure it is aligned. So to do that, you can just continue to rotate it. So yeah, now we've got an emoji on it. So that's just a quick example. And if you wanted to, you could drag it below the shading effects to make it sort of um, fit in a bit more. Um, but it depends how you like it. Anyway, that's sort of my shirt design personally done. To then go and save it, we want to do is click file. And then all you want to do is go to save. And then you've got the options here. Now you can do any of these. Make it sure it's 100. And then you can change the name something like um, Roblox shirt if you don't change the name sometimes it doesn't always accept it and um, that's my personal experience and then make sure uh, quality is on 100 and then click download and as you can see downloading perfect so then let's come back to roblox so before you go and create your shirt you need to go and get premium like i said at the start of this video so do that you want to just click get premium and you can go for any of the packages down here so i recommend going for this one to get yourself started but you can actually make money doing this simply come to groups and you could go and create a group and then sell the shirt on the roblox shop and you can actually go and profit out of this so you can do make a bit of money but mainly you probably will be losing but anyway yes once you've gone and got premium you can go and jump into this but for now uh, i'm not going to but all you got to do is to upload it is come to shirts and then go and click choose file and then you can go and upload it and then you can go and use it or you can go and sell it on the roblox marketplace um on the avatar shop so yeah if you find this video useful subscribe down below and i look forward to catch you in the next one peace